All right, everybody, I'm back here in California, working on this big paver, paver project. So what we got here is uh, we got our sand laid out, and you want to be on the video, Dwight? Not really. Not really. Okay. I'm allergic. You're allergic. Anyways, Anyways, don't mind this guy over here. So what we got is one inch of sand. We went through and did all the base. Uh, touched up the base last time we were here we did not finish out all the base work so it only took a couple hours we only finished up to right here and then put down one inch of sand on the screed rails and then screeded it off and then we got some line snap there's a line right there and then there's another one going up this way we're gonna run everything on a 45 to this building so um, here's all of our pavers over here just a few here's Dave ready to lay some pavers yes yes we got good help oh yeah good help we're ready <laughs> what do you think we'll get it, that section done today think we'll get it cut I don't think we'll get it cut but we'll get it down we'll try to start we'll see alright so a couple of these guys here from our church they, they uh, own small paper uh, landscape companies and stuff, so we do have some experience help. We got some other help coming over here, but uh, <clears throat> here are all of our pavers. So yeah, all these, oh man, there's a lot of them. Just a few down through there. So, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, we're going to get to it. And uh, start laying these. Oh, are we gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's been here too. <laughs> Let's see, right there, that's John, John Burns. He's a star. Star. Yeah, yeah. All right. Get down here in the action. <laughs> First pavers being laid. There we go. Um, not a lot. I mean, we checked our grade. We double, triple checked it. You know, so everything flows through the boxes. Water's going in the right direction. So.
right, it's day two here of our paver project. Things are going very well. So what we've been doing is we have kind of one crew that we've been sticking with on this, kind of knows what's going on. And then as we need hands to bring in uh, people to carry for us, we call them up and they, they come and uh, help us. So we got all this laid, we did from here, that way yesterday, that is all finished, laid, cut in and everything. These are the drains that me and my brother and another buddy of ours, two buddy, uh, Joe and Joe, came out and we put that uh, kind of underground retention pond that wraps up around here. Uh, they are gonna get a gutter eventually, but um, so all this is done, this is sanded and compacted in. And then you can kind of see right there, that's where we started laying today. So we prepped this this morning and then we, uh, we prepped it and then we sanded it and then we laid them. So we have from here, this area from right here, coming up this way. It's gonna kind of do a little bit of an ass right there. Coming up right here, around to the corner of the building. So hopefully we'll get it close tomorrow and then it'll be half a day wrapping up and then we'll do some dirt work out there to help grade in but we have to uh right now we're cutting that edge well we cut the edge but fitting in the pavers for the edge and then we're doing like a soldier course along the edge here so you take the quick saw cut it off and then you throw the strap away and then put these back in How's it going? Good. Good. And then this is kind of the finished product right here. This edge. We had this is a previous trip and some other people did that, but this will get kind of adjusted and straightened up a little bit and then that's what we're going after right there. So yeah, it's looking real nice. There's one right here, Dave. He needs wedges. Oh. Ah. That's a bit, bit excessive. So that's kind of what's been going on here. Way too much. Huh? Way too much. Oh yeah, way too sharp. Way too sharp, Sour. Just like. Yeah, yeah, a tiny bit. Day three of the pavers. Just finished prepping out the sand. Oh, Sattler's just touching up over here. Last little bit. And uh, it's actually before lunch today, so pretty exciting. Jocelyn and Dwight are just so excited. <laughs> How are we looking down here, Olivia? Oh, we're great. Yeah? Staying on the line today? Sure. Doesn't look like it. Looks like somebody already messed up right here, though. Uh huh, right there. See that one? Created a hole oh. right in here. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's over here getting everything set up for material, getting all this cleaned up. Got all this packed and uh, sanded and packed in. We concreted this edge here. So yeah, it's turning out real nice. There we go. I like that. What's that? What the? Oh, that's not what the one to the right.
All right, so we uh, start sand in this area here. Got the edges all cut in. All this is cut. Through here. And then uh, put in a concrete edging right there. Dig it down a couple of six, eight inches. And then you put concrete in it, fill concrete into there. How we doing, Blaine? Oh, just dandy. Just dandy. Just dandy. Anything to say, Dwight? All right. <laughs> we can handle that. Just kind of take it, trial it in right there. What they're doing up here is Dave and Philip are uh, putting in a, uh, it's an I, like a letter I, um, and it's broken. It's like this right over here. They call it a broken I. It's like kind of a Western, uh, like a brand almost. So the name of the camp we're at is Camp Ironwood. So like that, broken eye. So they're working the sand, trying to get it to dry out a little bit. And Dave's over there cutting away. So should have that wrapped up here soon. And then um, we're gonna sand the whole thing and hopefully get this place cleaned up. just finished up the packing that's good man uh sweeping it off gonna blow it off now pavers are done Give it a little wet down, let that sand kind of set in there. And we did put some polymeric sand, it's sand with glue along the edges, around our broken eye, this edge here, and around our drains. Uh, what it does, it has sand in it, or there's glue in the sand. They're gonna get a gutter on there, but who knows when. We got it plumbed and everything for it, but. Uh, tomorrow we got to put some light poles in it's basically these just like this uh, from the first video uh, so the top is actually gas right there is gas and that's like a regular light so we're gonna put those in uh, we got three of those to put in down through here but yeah she looks nice real nice Here we are at night. Just wrapped up with another project. We were helping my dad do sheetrock and stuff in another building. But um, here it is, all finished off. Good job, guys. So excited over there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So we got the, uh, we put some skirting on the bottom of these, some metal skirting. Got them lit. They all work. Little issue with that wiring over there, but uh, <laughs> you don't shock and the light comes on. Be quiet. <laughs> you can kind of see it there. The, on the other you side. Can the oh, other you can see the other side. Yeah, it shines. The light reflects off. Oh yeah, yeah. You can really see it now. That's cool. Yeah, they put some um, a concrete sealer on it. Helps make it stand out. Mr. Wayne, you want to tell us the significance of the broken eye? Uh, the broken eye, out of Psalms, we're talking about our brokenness before the Lord. We want to make sure that we're broken and willing to do whatever God asks us to do. So that's a broken eye. And it's our brand. It's a registered brand. It's on our horses and on our barn. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Horses. Lights just went out. <laughs> horses not broken is not very useful. When we're broken and giving to the will, giving in our will to Christ, we're way more useful to him than if we're 
proud spirited and turning our head as it were away from the Lord very cool oh now the lights go back on <laughs> they are on a timer somebody's leaning up <laughs> but we got this all smoothed out right around here and um, pretty much wrapped up everything so as far as this project